Of all the phenomena in our cosmos, nothing is more mysterious to our science than the human brain. The brain is one of the most complex things in the universe that we, that we study. To understand the brain, there's a, we have a huge way still to go. And we need to have giant steps to, to improve what we understand and, 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 and how we call certain functions. It's 100 billion neurons firing. We make all these decisions, we're multitasking and so on, and we consume less than a 100 watt light bulb. The brain's complexity puts neurological diseases beyond our grasp. It's a very hard problem. These diseases um, are not understood. So if you don't know really what causes the disease, how do you want to fight it? So the problems that lie ahead are huge. We have not yet begun to answer the questions. We have begun to look for the right questions to ask, but we're still a far way to go to start answering them. To tackle this challenge, NeuroPro set out to revolutionize brain signal analysis. We want to offer a, a product for the research institutions that will help them manage neurological data. Their chosen solution leverages state-of-the-art information technology and makes it accessible anytime, anywhere. It's a mobile laboratory that can give you more power than anything available today. It's going to make analyzing brain signals so much faster and easier for researchers and academics. But meeting this goal requires extraordinary computational power. Historically, when brain signal data is analyzed, um, it's quite a cumbersome and time-consuming process. When we started this project, we started storing files uh, from different sources, and those files are enormous, terabytes and terabytes of data. The traditional approaches of uh, data storage does not step up to the challenge uh, of the volume of the data that we're dealing with. We have uh, recordings for 60 patients that uh, amount in total to about 300 terabytes of data. All of this data has to be processed using complicated algorithms. We're changing uh, radically the fundamentals on every single piece of the project starting from the server side where we are deploying a cloud architecture. It's being done in a distributed parallel fashion so that we're able to respond to any processing request in a very short time. Something that before used to take hours or even days with the virtual mobile laboratory can now be truncated into a matter of minutes. If I've got a patient and we're doing a therapy control and we record them for a week, it would be very nice just to go zzzz, and come back and say, OK, there were 10 seizures during that recording. Five were from the left, three were from the right. You know, that would have been a brilliant help. All scientists can collaborate through this virtual environment, which is infinitely scalable and secure. We're using new technologies that makes it very simple for any analysis to be performed with minimum training and very easy access. We're entering into an era of big data and this is happening across a number of industries but one of the most pronounced is in the healthcare industry and what we're trying to do with the virtual mobile laboratory is translate this sea of data that is collected and assist people's lives rather than complicating it with the amount of data that's available today. The NeuroPro will, will open the doors um, to a whole bunch of applications. NeuroPro is currently targeting epilepsy, a disease that plagues the lives of 50 million people. If you have regular seizures, then it's really like having your life taken out of your hands. This loss of control is what frightens most people. The type of seizure I have culminates in a blackout. If I'm not on the floor already, I fall over, um, I shake heavily, I bite my tongue, and I wake up a few minutes later in a very dazed state. And for the people around, it appears that you're in your death throes. Every five minutes, a child is born with epilepsy. And uh, we know that there is no science now to cure it. The science exists to help you live with it. Epi is ja nur relativ häufige Krankheit, 1% von der Bevölkerung hat das. To live with epilepsy is to live in fear. One problem all of these people face is 
that they never know when the next seizure will come. Suddenly they lose control, they are unconscious. So waiting for the next seizure is sometimes even worse than suffering an actual seizure. If you're a severe epileptic, then what should be the most joyful thing, something like holding a child, becomes something terrifying and almost off limits for you. This random um, occurrence of seizure is one of the most disabling aspects of epilepsy. Yeah, I've had patients who said, if I knew it was every Thursday morning at between 9 and 10, it wouldn't be such a great problem. Predicting seizures has not been possible until the team at Neuropro pursued an insight. It started with a chat with an idea which we thought was, both Jamil and I thought was far-fetched. As we looked at the literature that existed, we realized that this approach has never been tried before. Traditional brain signal analysis interprets amplitude and frequency of the EEG signal. In contrast, NeuroPro's algorithm separates patterns from anomalies through binary pattern matching. This approach reliably detects neurological episodes. My question to Jamil was, what happens to the anomalies? Is that excess information? I guess he, he said it goes to a bin. So I said, let's look in the bin. We looked in the bin. You know, here comes out, it could be something of great finding. I never thought I would be deploying my computer science knowledge into this field. And to my surprise, it is so relevant. When the idea first came about with Walid and I, we took it to Imperial, and we were surprised by the enthusiasm of Professor Chris Tomaso. They've come along with no knowledge of neuroscience, no knowledge of neural signals and neural chemistry, just coming at it from a very different discipline and saying, OK, well, let's apply these pattern recognition algorithms to the brain. I think it's the first time in my life that non-specialists came and said, look, I think we can do this. <laughs> um, so, you know, very sceptical. Um, but the first analysis they did just knocked me back. It just knocked me back. I believe they've come up with one of the very first simplistic, high-speed ways of determining whether or not you're going to get a neural condition before it's actually happened. We have a product that's going to revolutionize brain signal analysis. We take the brain rhythms, we convert them to binary, and when we find anomalies or offbeats, we link them to the problems we are diagnosing. NeuroPro has named their unique pattern recognition system the YNAM algorithm. What NeuroPro has brought to the table was just to find what's normal for that patient. And then, when it's not normal, it's abnormal. And let's just see whether that has any correlation to the seizures in, in an epileptic before or after. And that methodology works. Deciphering brain signals was a breakthrough. Delivering hardware to monitor those would be a new challenge. The third product that we're working on is a NeuroPro standalone headset, which has applications for epilepsy and in the broader healthcare space, as well as potential consumer and non-medical applications. When we looked at NeuroPro initially, we said we have an algorithm that can predict seizures. Great. But how are we going to make it pick up that information in real time and deliver that warning message. So we set out to design our own uh, headset that complements that solution. Comfort plays a role because you're going to wear it all the time. Therefore, it has to look clean, it has to look sophisticated. We're going to try to hide as much as possible, but what you will see will have to be really nice. We want to not hide it, but we want to wear it discreetly. Uh, but uh, discreetly still can have a, a very nice uh, elegance, uh, a nice appearance uh, and, and show the value of the technology who is in it. The headset sends brain data to NeuroPro's cloud, which detects impending seizures, and sends a warning to any online or portable device. We have to bring with NeuroPro the human side of the technology to the consumer. The feedback I'm receiving from the physicians 
is that it's a game changer in terms of being able to access information and being able to analyze it efficiently and effectively. A device that allows some kind of warning gives you control. And the one thing that people with severe epilepsy don't have is control. And if you're granted it, then your life is transformed. Within the medical arena, there's other neurological disorders that the headset could also be applied to. Certainly from the people we have talked to and the physicians and the sufferers, patients that we have talked to, it will be a life change. With this sort of technology, it's moving out of the lab and mobile technology is taking us out of the lab, pushing us into the clinic, pushing us into the home where we can interpret data very efficiently, very proactively. These three NeuroPro innovations mark only the start of the team's quest to fuse breakthrough technologies to help tackle some of the many challenges facing brain science. It's really happening. All the things that you dreamed about there when you watched Star Wars or Star Trek as a kid, this is becoming reality now. I'm very excited to be part of this team because it gives me the opportunity to bring something new to the world. And it's not only new, it's revolutionary. There's a huge amount of passion between all of us. We all really, really believe in this and really believe that we can maybe change the world. Each member of the team, I think, has got completely different qualities. And when we bring them together, it just, it just works. You walk in there and everybody is buzzing. Every day we're coming up with new ideas and new applications that we could consider for our technology. We're bridging the disciplines, biochemistry, biotechnology, merged with electronics that are helping some of these big, big global healthcare challenges. What Jamil is doing with his electrical algorithms and what I'm doing with some of my chemical algorithms is that we're coming up with ways in which we can actually provide the intelligence on the cuff electrode. So we will only stimulate the vagus nerve when it's required. We at NeuroPro are building the bridge to future medicine. I think we are heading towards a very bright future whereby a lot of new discoveries are empowering us in our personal health.